Good afternoon, my dolly friends. It is Gina with Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. Today, I thought I would show you the other dolls in my doll collection. And here is one of them. The doll you see before you is a bisque doll. She is wearing a hand-knitted little yellow crocheted dolly bonnet. This was made for me by our next door neighbor um, years ago because she knew how much I loved baby dolls. So she very kindly made that bonnet for me. Um, my mom and I made this doll together. I remember really wanting like a porcelain or bisque doll and I remember asking my mom about her and, and so I picked the kit and then this was back when mom was very healthy and well and could sew and Anyway, so mom, mom and I kind of made this doll together. I picked her out. And then what our intention was, was to get her and make her. And um, eventually I was going to get a doll christening bonnet and gown for her. But we never did that. And uh, mom's 80 and blind and very ill. And so that's that. And I can still go get a christening bonnet and gown but I originally I think mom was going to find a pattern and make one but we we just never got to that part at any rate I still love my dolly like I said she is bisque she is very old you can see there's like some spots I've only had her on display only I never played with her um there's some old dust I mean she's she probably needs to be cleaned up a little bit more um I have her in a white or a cream it's not white it's a cream colored almost a beige all cotton receiving blanket it has this beautiful little embroidery on it um and i like that on her her hands are just little tiny white bisque hands um you can see there's there's one little hand it does have some detailing i've never broken her fingers or anything um i've probably had her well, I've, I've had her over 30 years, so, um, because I know I had her before. Yeah, she's probably 40 or some, some years old, and this is her body. So, and, you know, she's kind of even, even just being displayed and wrapped in a blanket and stored. She's kind of aged. But at any rate, this is my first doll. Um, I don't, I don't really remember ever naming her. Maybe some of you could come up with a nice old-fashioned name for her. Um, I don't know. But at um, any rate, that's one of my dolls, and I have a few more I'd like to share with you today. So hold on, and I'll get the next baby. Okay, my friends, I am back. This is one of the dolls from my rag doll collection. Um, she's very old. This is a doll, I was probably 12. I wanted to make my own rag doll. I had read all kinds of things about what type of material to use to make your doll hold up for a long time. Um, I had read, a, you know, thought about different doll patterns and looked at them so mom and I went to the store I picked out the material for the body I was very picky about that I picked what she would be stuffed with and we had that leftover yarn at home because I didn't want to buy a whole uh, thing of yarn just to put hair on my doll and this was some yarn that my mom had left over from one of her um, knitting or crocheting projects but at any rate we got the doll pattern and I helped mom cut the pattern out and then mom did all the sewing and this is a very stiff material that would last a long time mom sewed her and put her together this little dolly I had named Patty, I think, and um, Mom drew the face on her, but I glued, I hand glued all the hair 
in the pattern that you see on her. I used a special glue and we left part of it long and we tied it so she had little ponytails. And this dress that she's wearing is a dress that mom had made from my for my other baby dolls that were in my collection, just regular baby dolls. And I wanted my dollies to have some more clothes. So I didn't have anything to put on Patty. So I did this dress and it has a little Peter Pan collar and it was a red and white striped material. And mom just went ahead and used it. And you can see that I colored the feet on her with a, black, a brown permanent marker. And like I said, mom hand drew all of the um, the facial features on the doll with a light pencil and then I colored them all in. So this was how my doll Patty was made and she's one of my treasures because my mom and I made her together. So now on to more of my dollies. And next, you all recognize Raggedy Ann. Now, she is not my original Raggedy Ann. I had gotten a Raggedy Ann when I was about two, two and a half, and she was a much larger doll. But she was played with and taken outside, and she swung on swings, and she played with um, cars and things in the dirt, and she rode in the back of the dump truck, and um, she slept with me every night, and my... Friend, a friend and I one day were fussing over her and we were playing Cowboys and Indians and my friend wanted the doll to be captured and I said no he couldn't they couldn't capture my doll and so anyway she was torn in half and stuffing came out and it was not good and then my so I think the dog got I don't know anyway that doll's long gone but I often said you know I have a rag doll collection and I have no raggedy Ann and so my mom, one year for Christmas, oh, I was probably 17, I got a new Raggedy Ann doll. So she's she's still quite old, but she was not my original. But I love her just the same. And now on to my Holly Hobby rag doll collection. It's probably around 1974. And Holly Hobby was very popular, and my friends and I loved Little House on the Prairie, and I had to have a Holly Hobby rag doll. So she is the first of my four Holly Hobby dolls. Um, I think she's about a 14 or 16-inch 16, 16 doll. I never did measure her. She was uh, made by Knickerbocker. So, um, but anyway, this is my original Holly, and uh, Holly was in several Little House plays that my friends and I did and did for neighbors and uh, stay-at-home moms and other kids in the neighborhood, and she always played the role of Charlotte in that because she was, she was Laura's ragdoll Charlotte, even though she's really Holly Hobby, but we thought she fit the bill. So on to my next Holly Hobby doll. 